Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something purely fun and kind of weird. So the other day I was scrolling on TikTok and I came across a video by Jess Morgan and it featured food dye and milk. And I was really intrigued by this idea so I went searching about it further and I came across magic milk or marble milk. And I'm not gonna lie to you, it is technically like a kid's craft slash kids science project that you can do but i kind of liked it for like the photography implications of abstract photography because i thought what a great way what a great project if you're stuck at home if you're not that inspired to go outside because it's not nice outside or you just want to try something new and fun so that's what we're going to do today but as a bonus we are going to switch it up today and what i've done is i have bought three different kinds of milk products and the reason behind it is because the dish soap is going to react with the fat in the milk so i kind of figured maybe if i bought three different kinds of milk products that had different percentages of fat it might yield different results so i'm not too sure i haven't done this before but i did buy so i've got one percent milk that we just regularly buy when we go to the grocery store i also bought uh two percent milk which uh has a little bit of a higher fat content and then i got heavy cream which is whipping cream and it's 33 percent so we'll see kind of what results each of these yield all right so just to quickly run through the supplies for today we have some plates here that we're going to put the milk down we have our three different kinds of milk so we've got our one percent our two percent and our heavy cream which is 33 percent we also have assortment of food dye now i actually only have three colors these two are red i've got a yellow and a green the store didn't have blue, which was unfortunate, but we're just going to work with the three that I have. We've got a little dish with dish soap in it and then some clean Q-tips. And then I also thought maybe depending how things go, we might play around with like different shaped bowls. And then as for camera gear, I'm just going to use my Olympus EM1 Mark II with the 12 to 40 millimeter lens. All right, so my head is probably gonna get chopped off for a lot of this, but I've got my setup here. So I just have one of my plates down and then I just have my EM1 Mark II set up on the tripod and I'm gonna try manually focusing with this one. And so what I'm gonna do is, hopefully this plate has enough of a lip that it won't cause the milk to go everywhere. So I'm just gonna borrow this very carefully. I feel like that's good all right so i think we are all set up so what should we start with okay let's just start with the red food dye um okay i've got my q-tip what should we do should we do multicolors or should we just start with red you know what let's just do multicolors so we're just gonna All right, so just to show you what's happening when you use like the dish soap is it kind of creates these like, it's actually really satisfying to do. All right, so now let's just try our 2% milk. This is actually so extremely satisfying to see it move around. I love the red because like, it actually comes off really like pink fuchsia-y. What happens if we add yellow? Ooh! Okay, so if you swirl it, it looks even cooler. All right, so I wanna give you a different view of what this looks like. So the last one that we're gonna do is heavy cream. So like I said, heavy cream is 33%. So let's see how this one turns out. Ooh. 
So it is so much thicker. All right, so let's do that. I'll start with the red because the red's my favorite. Okay, very different looking drops compared to what the others have looked like. All right, let's see here what will happen. I've got my soap. Whoa, it is so different. Oh my goodness. They're like, they're almost like branching out in a really weird and unique way. Like, this is so different compared to what the other milks have produced. I don't know, heavy cream might be my favorite. I mean, like, look at this. They almost look like snowflakes. It actually looks really delicious too. I just finished cleaning up because it did make a bit of a mess so final thoughts here if you're gonna try this out at home is one make sure you have lots of paper towels I ended up spilling one of the plates and it kind of just went everywhere so make sure you have lots of paper towels two I would recommend um, doing it likely in your kitchen or having a bucket handy so you can just like when you want a like fresh batch of milk and food dye, you can just dump it into the bucket. Three, I found out of the 1% milk, the 2% milk and the heavy cream, 2% and actually the heavy cream was my favorite. Um, 2% it really like dispersed when you dipped, um, when you first dipped the dish soap into the milk mixture and then the heavy cream just created such a unique result. Like it was just so different than what the 1% or the 2% had offered and that it created these snowflake looking patterns in the heavy cream. So definitely that one was really, really cool. I used a tripod for the beginning of it and then towards the end I went freehand. I took my camera off the tripod and I just shot handheld over top of the milk mixtures, which I was able to get kind of like different angles and shots of it. So I'll put up on the screen all of the photos I was able to get with this magic milk experiment. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. You found it either interesting, creative, entertaining, whatever you want to call it, and maybe you'll try it out at home. And I'll see you in the next one.